So I'm a human geneticist, uh, so I'm, uh, the goal is to identify genetic factors that can be targeted in for clinical treatment for glaucoma. Uh, it's an eye disease, and then also a coronary disease called keratoconus. It's a coronary disease, and so so far has no good uh, treatment in the clinic. One of the only thing is uh, to do the cr cornea cross-linking, recently just approved by the FDA. So we try to find some genetic factors, and then we can target those with different chemicals or different uh, drugs to, re you know, to change the disease. Cornea cross-linking, so it's just to a uh, using UV light to cross-link the collagens in the cornea, uh, basically in the stroma layer of the cornea, so to make the cornea much stronger, and so in that way the cornea will can resist more pressure from the inside part, and that will keep the disease stable. So Neighborhood uh, is NIH, NER, National Eye Institute sponsored uh, glaucoma genetic research. And uh, so it has been studied since 2010. So I was uh, good enough to be part of this large consortium. We have over 20 different sites across the US from the West Coast to the East Coast, from the Great Lakes region to the uh, Gulf side. So Georgia is part of that consortium. So we have published over 20 different publications uh, in journals like Nature Genetics, Plus Genetics. Uh, also recently we have a lot of uh, discovery in Nature Genetics. We identified three new genes with glaucoma. So those could be for the first time to provide more evidence. You know, there's new pathways, new genes could be targeted for glaucoma. The next step, we are uh, doing more studies to in the cell lines using in vitro model and also potentially looking at zebrafish animal models and also moths to do transgenic mice and to look at more how those genes actually play a role in glaucoma. So hopefully we can either target those genes or those genes, you know, their pattern, interacting partners to see can we reduce either the glaucoma like the IOP intracular pressure, or we can provide some neural protection, like uh, to uh, protect the mitochondria uh, in the retina. So maybe that's one way to reduce the progression or delay the progression of glaucoma. So our world conference is uh, uh, providing a significant platform for me to interact with my collaborators and including the consortium investigators. We are having a meeting this afternoon to have an in-person meeting. And uh, so that will give us face-to-face -face interaction. And also, uh, probably interaction with uh, some foundations like Breath Focus Foundation. I just get a word this year to study more uh, macro RNA 182, you know, what's their role in glaucoma. And the other thing is definitely to exchange ideas with my peers, my colleagues from across the globe, from China, from Saudi Arabia, uh, from Europe, so this is a great platform for science communication and to promote all more collaboration. I think uh, one thing I want to emphasize, eye disease is a very severe disease, especially for glaucoma. The main thing is in the clinic, most people are not aware of the glaucoma they have. and uh, It's a painless disease. So we uh, recommend people over age 40 to go to see a clinician in ophthalmology to do an eye exam to serve as their baseline. So in that way, they will know what they are at. In the future, it can use that to compare back because everyone is different. Every factor we see, glaucoma not, depends on the progression. So we really recommend you know, people go see their clinician at least once after the age of 40.